Welcome to the stream everyone! We have just arrived in the monastery where the last wind monk is supposed to reside so we are super close now to the end. All we've got to do is find this stupid wind monk wherever you are, come out and show yourself. <laughs> so we, um, I think we have to go through this door but we have these weird like cyclops creatures. I don't even know what these guys are but they clearly are angry and don't want to let us pass because they filled Robert with holes with um like these dart things <laughs> hello tank boy hello Drake welcome to the stream how's things in the land of multi today they're okay they're all right they're good how how are things for you let's see what we can do to get through this door I think we're gonna finish this game today so I'm excited to see like how this all ends how Robert gets the flute nose flute noses out of the horrible situation that they're in like um because obviously they're being persecuted and it's not a good situation thank you for following e10 mk4 over on twitch hello brody welcome to the stream how are you doing today okay let's examine this phosphos apparently i can talk to this phosphos i've never actually spoke to a phosphos before so i'm kind of curious i don't think maybe he'll just like talk to it and it like in the hopes that it will talk, but I get the feeling it's not going to talk. I don't know. We'll see. It seems to be looking at the canvas. These things can't Weird. talk. There's nothing there to see. The canvas? Hmm, maybe it's like a magical canvas where um, it only shows up in like certain light or something. Maybe we have to turn the lights off or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to disturb anyone. No, we can't talk to the Phosphos. It got my hopes up, man. I was like, oh, I want to talk to a Phosphos. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do with this canvas. I don't know what to do with that. Me either. That's why I clicked on it to see if there was anything to do, but apparently not. <laughs> An empty canvas. It looks like a projection screen. Oh, okay. So we should be able to make some kind of pictures appear on this. I don't know how. Maybe we could do something with the look look. No. Now's not no. the time for practical jokes. Okay, it's not that. Maybe I can try and... I can't speak the Fei Fei's language, so we need to somehow, like, I don't know, learn their language somehow. I'm not sure how, though. Now that they're not shooting at me with poisonous arrows, they actually seem pretty nice. Yeah, sure, Robert, whatever you say. <laughs> Hello? Can I ask you something? Um... Okay, <laughs> what a weird response that was. <laughs> Hello, Hot Debridged, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? I've got a stress voodoo doll with your username on it next to me. The eyes are popping out already. <laughs> Do you think I'm going to have a stressful stream today or something? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Hello, Cyber. Hello, Loto. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? I just finished streaming at the end of Dragon Quest XI. Ah, oh, I missed it. I'm happy and sad and confused. <laughs> That's a lot of different emotions. I saw you streaming something, Borderlands. I saw you streaming Borderlands and I literally just clicked on your stream and you just ended as I clicked it. I was like, no, <laughs> what bad timing. <laughs> I have a whole box of them with people's usernames. Mallet in another one. Oh my god. I don't want to get on the wrong side of you, Drake. <laughs> I'm excited to see the end of this crazy fun little game. Me too. I can't wait to see how this all unfolds in the end. I wonder how um, like Robert is going to make everything better again with the flute noses. Because we're being persecuted and thrown down wind fountains and we need to stop this. We need to stop this Emil guy or something. I hope that... Um, what's his name? What's his name? Um, Conroy. I hope that he isn't depetrified, but I get the feeling that he's gonna come back. <laughs> but we will see. All right, let's ask about the wind monk. I really don't think we're gonna get much out of these guys because they speak in whistle language. <laughs> we can't understand them. We need to decipher their language somehow, like learn their language somehow. I don't know how though. Where is the last wind monk? Indo? <laughs> yes, exactly. Wind monk. They actually kind of understood. Hum. Um. 
this is a really awkward situation. It's like, you know, when you're like trying to talk to like a foreign person and no one has any idea what's going on. <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> How's your day been, miss? Yeah, pretty relaxed, actually. Um, I've just been playing Final Fantasy XIV, actually. They just put a new, like, update on the game, so I've been doing main the main story. Only, like, there's only, like, an hour of it or something, but, yeah, I've just been chilling out today, actually. <laughs> Thanks for checking. I'm gutted that I missed the the Dragon Quest one though. I really wanted to see that. I'll have to look at it. It's a shame that, that Twitch doesn't have like comments or anything like that for like past broadcasts and stuff. It really sucks. Who was that in the bed at the end? Oh right, yeah, um, at the end of Dragon Quest. Um, I believe that was like a, supposedly a reference to like another Dragon Quest game. People have said that that was like a character from Dragon Quest 3 or something like that. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but that's what people have told me anyway, but I have no idea. <laughs> it would be cool if that was like a little teaser to like another remake of Dragon Quest, but who knows? Alright, let's do another Wind, wind thing. Monk. Maybe blib blab... Uh... Thing thing? <laughs> Good try, Robert. I have to learn their language and fast. We could have said that we want to like murder them or something. Wind monk. And Robert have... has no idea what he just but... said. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good thing to do. All right, so um, no idea how to go about this. Let's try the door. I should ask for permission before I just barge in there. No, just go. It's fine. What a magnificent door. I bet I'll find the wind monk behind it. Twitch usually it does have a backlog under the user's video tab, but you can't leave comments and stuff, can you? I didn't, I didn't, at least I didn't think that you could. The Dragon Quest order is 11, 3, 1, and 2. What a weird order. Why? <laughs> Why not in the order that they've released them? <laughs> that makes no sense. Oh yeah, the Dragon Quest movie. I still haven't watched that yet. I completely forgot. I need to watch that. Not sure if it's optional for the streamer. I have no idea. I am not well versed with Twitch stuff. I have no idea. I have no clue. <laughs> okay, let's see um, what we can do here. Oh, uh, maybe I should have changed my mouse batteries again so it seems a little unresponsive, but it's okay for the moment. Hopefully it will last, we'll see. Okay, let's look through the window. You can see the song column from here. Yep. The up symbol is glowing. Hmm. Oh, may I should play my flute. It's stuck. The window is stuck, dang. All right, let's try our flute and see what happens. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. Let's see if this does anything. Hopefully it does, but we'll see. No? Nothing happened. The window is probably muffling the sound too much. Ah, that's a shame. Maybe we can do something about that. Maybe, I don't know, get something to make our flute notes louder? I have no idea. Let's see what I've got in my inventory. So I have a look look, a gorf claw, and a nose cover. I wonder what I am supposed to do with these things. I have no idea. Maybe I could like break the window with this. Hey, Impressive. that works. I wish my toenails could do that. Me too. Actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> that would be uh, <laughs> pretty crazy. <laughs> I didn't actually think that was going to work, so I'm actually surprised. <laughs> okay, now we should be able to play the flute and hopefully it will do something now. Not sure what, maybe a projection will appear or something? Oh, what's happening? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, um, hopefully that will help us in some shape or form. But I really don't know. Only one way to find out, I suppose. You can see the song column from here. Yeah. The down symbol is glowing. Hmm. I don't want to put it back down. There's a hole in the glass. I know this. <laughs> can I break the glass more? One hole is enough. No, okay. I can't do that. What about, can I break this? Well, I could do that. But no. No, I can't do that, unfortunately. Oh no, look through it. I don't want to do that. Oh, damn it. I can't seem to find what to do. <laughs> I don't want to do that. We will find it 
soon enough. Um, it was glowing down, but that wouldn't really do much, would it? What if I pr did it, like, up again? Maybe it will go up even further or something. I can't get the monastery to go any lower. Hmm. Let's go outside and um, see if that, like, changed anything, like, outside. I can't leave. Oh. You know. Oh, what did he say? I can't leave what? I can't, you know, because of all the dirt. All the dirt, right. <laughs> Okay, so we moved the monastery, but I really don't know what entirely that did. I could move it back down again, but I really don't think that's gonna do that much, to be quite honest with you. But I'll try it anyway and um, see what it does. Maybe I could put it like down one more or something. Maybe it would do something with the projection. Like, I'm thinking maybe it would do something with this like canvas thing, but I'm not sure. Maybe it won't move down. I can't get the Yeah, it won't go down. So it will only go up. All right, I'm just going to keep it up there and see if there's, like, anything I can do with that, like, later. I'm sure it's got something to do with this projection thing. That's what I'm guessing, but I don't 100% know. I have no idea. <laughs> I like that Robert taps his foot when he plays. He is getting into the rhythm. He's loving it. <laughs> can you move it further down? No, I just tried that, but, but good, um... Good thinking. I thought that too, but apparently not. All right, let's um, maybe look at some hints because I have no idea at this point. <laughs> okay, the three Fei Fei's in the monastery should be able to help when you ask them about the wind monk, but you have to learn their mam language. The book that Mama Dola gave you. Yeah, but we used it. You can't read anything in it, but it contains a very special object, the look look. You can figure out, if you can figure out how to use it, then you can learn their language. Okay, maybe I could put it on them or something. I have no idea. Do you know how to use this? Mm -mm. Looky, looky. <laughs> yeah, I guess that would be difficult with one eye. Hmm. Okay, well, they know what it is. Maybe on the door? Well, I could. No, I gotta put this somewhere. I don't want to. Maybe on the phosphos or something. That works. It looks so cute in that little headset. I wasn't expecting that to actually work. Okay, um, may oh, he's the projector, of course, because he makes light. Of course, I completely forgot about that, actually. There's got to be a way to turn it on. Hmm, is it sleeping or something? Here, let me wake you up with a sharp claw. <laughs> well, then I could... Mm. No. No. That's not going to work. What about a nose cover? Well, then I... No, hmm. There's got to be a... How to turn this little guy on. It looks so cute in that little headset. I wish I could see it. It's like we can only see the back of it, which really sucks. That won't work. Hmm, so how do we get this thing to turn on? Why should I do that? That is the question. I wish I could go in that little hole. I feel like that could be like a place to go, but... I don't seem to be able to go in there. <laughs> hmm, okay, I need another hint because I'm not sure. The look look fix the phosphos, yep. Do you remember how to how you woke up the sleeping phosphos in the creek in Aspia? I played my flute. That was it. Yes, I completely forgot. Um wind then, I suppose, would work. That's how Miss wakes people up. <laughs> yeah, didn't you know? <laughs> I just claw at you <laughs> to wake you up. <laughs> Hello Ursa, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Light bulb anywhere? Um, yes, this phosphos works as an excellent light bulb. <laughs> Wake me up inside. I love that song. <laughs> okay, let me see what we've got here. Can I use this? That won't work. So what can I do with this? Cool logo. The projector seems to be in standby mode. Alright, let's give this guy a little poke or something. Wake up. Oh, um, something's happening. Turn the wheels to change the projection. Okay, oh god, we're straight into another puzzle. Oh boy. <laughs> I will try, but we'll see. Okay, just gotta turn the wheels or something. I don't seem to be able to click on them. Oh, hold on. Yes, I can. I can click on them here. But what symbol am I meant to make? Because I have no clue. Alright, let me see. Maybe I'm meant to make a little cyclops thing. So like, hold on. Maybe I could use that that's the eyeball <laughs> i am really bad at drawing just so you know <laughs> i don't even know if this is right i have no clue um what have i made i have made a monster <laughs> i'm gonna make a monster <laughs> i have no clue what i'm making <laughs> i have no idea okay and then it's got some weird um 
thing coming out. Yes, it's a work of art. Hold on, there's little pictures down here. There's a like a little flower, like a rose, a little weird creature, and another rose. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I can make the little monster. I have no idea, no clue. <laughs> All right, let me see. I got a rolling pin here. <laughs> a rolling pin would be um uh, a great one to pick because why not? <laughs> I don't know, I've made something really strange. <laughs> How do you like my work of art? <laughs> it's beautiful, it's a masterpiece. <laughs> Marty gets an F in art. You know, that was probably my real grade. <laughs> I was terrible at art. I can't remember what my real grade was for art, but I think it was bad. <laughs> a shameful display. display. <laughs> is the is it the phosphors in the picture with the four dots? Um. What do you mean? I'm not sure. <laughs> the one shape, that one shape looks like a bikini. <laughs> hey look, it looks like a little bird or something, if you use your imagination. <laughs> I don't know what I'm meant to make, let's see what I'm meant to make, because I am not sure. Okay, let's see, you can project different images, yep, when you show an images that the phase recognise, they will say the word for it automatically. In this way, we can learn their language one word at a time. Oh boy, this is going to be a long time, like, it's going to take a while to communicate with these guys if we're doing it one picture and one word at a time, oh boy. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> can you ask them about the wind monk? So I guess I gotta make a wind monk somehow. Oh god, how am I gonna make a wind monk? I have no idea. <laughs> Here, this this is the symbol for wind. <laughs> but I don't know. Um, I have no clue. Let me move that stupid square off. But maybe we might actually need the square. Because I remember they look a little bit. They look square. Wind monks look square. <laughs> How do you make a wind monk out of these weird shapes? I have no idea. Look, there's his nose, and um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. The square doesn't look right. We should take that off, because that really doesn't look right. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, there we go. There's his nose. <laughs> And we just need we just need a weird body or something. <laughs> there, I made a phosphos. <laughs> I don't know how on earth you're meant to make the wind monks from this. All right, let's see. The Fei Fei word for wind monk is written somewhere. The Fei Fei's writings just looks just like the images that you've seen using the look look. Have you seen such symbols anywhere? At the gorf cliffs to the upper right between the two paths is a sign with the word wind monk written on it in three different languages. Oh, I don't have to make it. I think we have to do the writing for wind monk, not an actual picture. You can view a close up of the sign at any time by simply looking at it with Robert while at the gorf cliffs. Oh, okay. Um, I totally did not realize. No wonder I couldn't make the wind monk out of um <laughs> those shapes i would have been there all night otherwise <laughs> okay let's put this down and um we should be able to leave because i can't leave like how it is right now this is really bugging me so i'm just gonna have to change my battery again because it's been really like my mouse feels like a little laggy so i'm pretty sure it needs to to be switched again <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Tim. What are your thoughts on the Prince of Egypt? What? <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. I have no idea. Do you know event how to make a smiley face? You want me to make a smiley face on the projection? <laughs> I don't want to see Moldy making puzzles. <laughs> But unfortunately, that is like what comes with point and click games. I'm trying to get my battery out, but it doesn't want to come out. It's like, nope, it's stuck in there. It's like, I got, I think my batteries are like the wrong size for my mouse. <laughs> and they're really hard to get out. Yeah, I have a wireless mouse. So, um, I have to put batteries in them, but I can't get it out. <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> It's literally stuck in there right now. Ah, oh, damn thing. Okay, um, okay. It works. It's just, like, really annoying me. Maybe I'll leave it for a bit. Maybe because it's kind of, like, a little bit out. So maybe it will pick it up better. <laughs> Stupid thing. I've been having 
um, battery problems with my mouse. I know um, wireless n mouses are annoying, but it's like I've got so many cables around my desk that um, <laughs> I kind of like I'm trying to uh, not have too many cables everywhere because I've got VR and you know how many cables VR takes? It's ridiculous the amount of cables VR has. It literally has like five cables just to run it. It's really stupid. So <laughs> cables back down like down by my desk that is just chaotic <laughs> it's like a sea of cables it's animated from 1998 oh oh is it like an anime or something like what is it i don't think i've seen it so i have no idea what you're talking about but thank you i really appreciate that you've just made a puzzle in real life with the battery and the mouse well i can't get it out so um it's kind of it's kind of stuck in there i need to get a knife to get it out that's how i usually get it out i was lucky when i got it out yesterday with my fingers because usually i have to get a knife to get it out because it's like it's like wedged in there <laughs> it's really hot annoying <laughs> stupid thing i don't know what to do all right let's look at the sign we need to look at um the thing oh is that the symbol or do i have to use the writing i think it might be this so it'd be like a square then like a little triangle for the nose and then um the two little legs i think it might be this one perhaps hmm that kind of looks like an explosion or maybe i could do the fountain hmm. that reminds me of something could it be a wind fountain that nose that elegant shape it's a straw bear what on earth is a straw bear i have no idea okay my mouse actually seems to be better now <laughs> that's weird just pull it out a little bit and it's fine i think it's just having problems like picking it up for some strange reason okay so i'm gonna try and um make maybe this middle one i think that would be cool to have you know i really wish that we could just like take this with us so i could look at it like whenever i want instead of coming all the way back here to see it <laughs> it's a little annoying All right. Right, let's go back through and see if we can do this this shouldn't be too difficult but we will see all right i need to of course play my flute again so that we can have the projection working again and everything all right here we go strawberry <laughs> i have it on vhs oh wow those still exist <laughs> it's been a long time since i've seen one of those I saw it when I was young, the gods helping the kid make something. I don't think I've seen it. You actually have a wireless mouse. Your computer's newer than I thought. I thought you had one of those old timey room filling machines. My old computer is. My old computer is like, I had it when I was at college, so it's very old now. <laughs> but the PC that I'm currently using right now, I wouldn't be able to stream with a really old one. <laughs> I so my PC that I have right now is it's not like the best PC ever but it's like it runs pretty much any game but streaming what do you want me to do but streaming and running the game at the same time is another story because it cool, does love. struggle with that um why aren't you working again how did I uh was it this okay it was this one <laughs> okay let's see if I can do this so it was like a little square and then it was like a little triangle for the nose which I don't know where it is. Maybe I don't need to use that one. Maybe I don't need to use all of them. I'm not sure. There's the nose. And now I just need the legs, wherever they are. Where are the legs? That is the question. So I'm not sure where those are. All right, let me see what I've got here. Hmm. Well, here are the legs. The legs aren't here. <laughs> we have no legs. Maybe it's on this one. It would suck if it was on one that I had to use though. Maybe I have to combine like two of them together or something? Because I don't see the legs right now. I think I might have to combine shapes together or something. I'm not entirely sure how, but we'll see. Hmm. Because I'm sure- That looks like ah. an explosion. There we go. Soy soy. Okay, soy soy means explosion. Oh, right. Awesome. We got one word and now we need to make, um, the fountain i kind of remember what it was like i'm not quite sure how on earth i'm gonna do that one to be honest um we need like the wind fountain and we also is that it that might be it hold on if i get rid of this is, is that, that a wind fountain okay i got it yeah Gungun. ah gungun means wind fountain all right Gungun. we're slowly learning wind fountain <laughs> Okay then, and now all we need is the straw bear, I think. 
Prince of Egypt is about the story of Moses. Ah, I see. Hello, Josh. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Gonna have to make some legs. You got it by accident. Yeah, I was just fiddling with it. <laughs> That's usually how I normally solve puzzles. I just fiddle with it and it just works. <laughs> It works every time. <laughs> and now we have to make, um, I think, a straw bear, which is like a carrot looking thing. Um, it was kind of like circular looking, but I'm not quite sure exactly how to do this. Something like this. I don't know if this is going to work. I have no idea. Is that a potato? Did I do it? Oh, a straw bear. <laughs> Okay, wasn't that all of them? I think it was. I'm sure I've done them all. All right, so we have a few words now, so maybe it will be able to ask them to open the door. This one was like so much easier. Goon goon, soy soy equals Asposian, <laughs> and a snort for the straw bear. <laughs> such a such random words. Multi got all three by accident. Well, I kind of knew what I was looking for, but yeah, I wasn't entirely sure, so I just guessed for the rest, <laughs> and that seemed to work. Hello? Can I ask you something? <laughs> all right, let's do this. Let's see if we can ask these things. All right, Goon Goon, wasn't it, for this one? Soy Soy. Soy Soy, that was it. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that wasn't a very... um. Like, he didn't really make much of a response to that one. Hmm. Goon goon? Hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? Okay. He seems to be waiting for the next word. Is there more words? Say what? Um. Okay. Let's see. Asposian. Do I have to so, do it in so. order? Hmm. Maybe I have to do it in order or something. Go, go, soy, soy. Okay, he seems to be waiting for the next word. I have no idea. <laughs> he said goon goon, didn't he? Isn't that wind fountain? Goon goon? <laughs> that didn't work. Okay, so that wasn't the right the right order. <laughs> I have no Hello? idea. Maybe I have to say um, wind fountain first. Or something. Goon goon. I have no idea. <laughs> this is so uh -huh. weird. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wind fountain. Um, I don't even know what this straw bear is. What even is that? I don't even know. Wind fountain. Um. So wind, wind monk straw bear. Soy I don't soy. know. <laughs> I have no hmm. idea. Is that Good right? Soy soy. Okay. Okay. And then I'll try the straw bear because it's the only one I haven't tried. <laughs> It just hmm. snorts at them. <laughs> Did that work? Gun, soy, soy. Yeah! yeah. Gun, gun, soy, soy. Di, di. He totally gun, knows gun, what soy, we are soy. trying to say. What? <laughs> but how are the we meant to know? Wind monk. Oh, thank goodness. Asposia needs you. You have to take the throne immediately so that I don't have... Oh. He's just trying no. to... No, that's not... No, <laughs> that can't be him. It's a baby. <laughs> gong, gong, soy, soy. Are you sure he's the only one left? Is that really it? Don't you have one in a bigger size? <laughs> You're not shopping. <laughs> gong, gong, soy, soy. <laughs> hmm. Well, what's Robert going to do now, I wonder? Oh! Who's going to save Asposia now? You, Robert, of course. Stop, stop shirking your responsibilities. Great. I can't even do that right. <laughs> Maybe in 20 years? Then you can officially become a wind monk. If there's even anything left of Asposia by then... Oh boy, that was unexpected. Well, maybe you can be the king first, and then 20 years later, the wind monk can I can't take your take place. I care of you. The only thing I ever took care of was my pet brick, <laughs> and it ran away. <laughs> How? <laughs> oh I don't have God. any idea what I'm doing. How am I supposed to be king? I still hear his voice in my head. Robert, you idiot. 
Robert, the fact that someone as dumb as you can actually manage to make it through the whole day alive is astounding. Robert, I told you, you can't eat the wax fruit. But it always looked so yummy. And I was so hungry. <laughs> I always had to fight for scraps with that stupid old hedgehog. <laughs> Good time. Maybe for you. Shut up already! <laughs> I spent my life living in the basement of a cathedral run by a man who wouldn't even spare me his last breadcrumbs. Poor you dude. You ungrateful little worm. I raised you. Conroy, you were the only family I ever knew. But you didn't love me. You didn't even like me. I always wondered why you decided to take me with you. Do you really believe you would have been a good king? Even if I had left you with them, you half-witted fool. I'm not a fool. You're a monster. And I defeated you. You will never defeat me. Go away! <sighs> ha! He's gone! Really? I don't have to listen to you anymore, you evil old bastard! <laughs> it's so weird hearing him swear like that. <laughs> hey! Don't cry. Poor little guy. Ah, so I see you two have finally met. How did she get there? Why couldn't you have just told me that the last wind monk is a baby? Why did you send me here anyway? If I hadn't called you out of that forest clearing, you never would have left. You would have run to the ends of the earth to try to get away from Conroy. And you would have never noticed that you were actually running away from your own shadow. I'm afraid he's a part of you now. But you're also a part of you. The good part. Why don't you try listening to that voice? So you did all that just so I would learn something about myself? Why didn't you just tell me? There are some things you just have to find out for yourself. Oh. I get it. Wow. So, I guess I'm a father now. Wait, what? That what? escalated quickly. <laughs> but... <laughs> Put him down. He doesn't belong to you. He's like, I'm well, claiming I this mean, child. As king, couldn't I just... Boy, you have to start small. You might be able to rule all of Asposia, but don't you go thinking that you're ready to take care of a baby. But he's just so cute. Hey, little baby. Boo, 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 baby, boo, boo, boo. Aww. <sighs> Wasn't there an execution you wanted to stop? Oh, damn. That's right. Well, good luck with that. Thanks, Mama Dola. Take care, little one. He looks I'm like sure a little we'll teddy. See each other again soon. Oh, that was kind of cute with the little with the little what baby. What are you doing here? That was chapter five. So we're on the final chapter now. Oh, hello, I've relocated. Oh, good. I think this is the perfect spot for my <laughs> store. I haven't seen any others for miles. Oh my god, this guy. Do you know what they call that? Monopoly. Hey, I bet that would make a great game. Don't you think? Sure. <laughs> um, sure. But how did you get here? My store has wheels. Oh. oh that's practical. Would you like a mystery no, bag? No, I've had enough of those. I'll trade it to you for some money. No. I don't really have time right now, but... We don't need uh, one. Hey, what do you think about selling stuff in Upper Asposia? Are there a lot of people there? Yeah. They're all going to this big execution. He's like, no, <clears throat> too many people. I mean, no, not a soul will be there. You're sure to be the only one there with a stall. The rest will all be executed if I can't stop it. Ha, you're appealing to the businessman in me. Hop in. Oh, I get to ride in it? Yeah, let's go for a ride in this weird um shop with wheels. <laughs> Why is he so insistent on selling to nobody? <laughs> you know, I think, like, we must be really close now. Like, we're getting a lot of cutscenes, which is really cool to see, though. Alright, what's going wow. on here? 
That doesn't look good. Oh man, there's lots of guards. I wonder where Laura is. You brain dead idiot! Oh, well, there she is now. Can you not understand? <laughs> or do you just not want to understand? Laura! Where is she? She has to be here somewhere. She's hiding in the bins or something. I don't know. I saw a little flute It's like noises. I've been telling you this whole time. Oh, there she is. Conroy built the Basilians himself to take power over Esposia. He treated you all like fools from the very beginning. Enough. His eminence, Abbot Conroy, would never have done such a thing. You built that Basilian head yourself. And you dare to bring this abomination here? Why would I build a Basilian head? The truth is sitting right under your nose, but you refuse to see it. You just don't want to know the truth, do you? You hate the flute noses, and you do anything to get rid of them. Enough! I... I... Go, Pecky! Murder him! <laughs> get him! Oh! oh my God. He's a flute nose! Wow! I wasn't expecting you that. perish with him. You will all perish. But you're a flute nose you too. You will all rot at the bottom of that well. Maybe he was like cast wait out or minute, something. Wait a minute, But if you're a flute nose, then you'll be executing your own family. You can't just kill your own family. They threw me away. I knew it. Conroy was right when he... Conroy was a monster. Conroy saved me. He saved us all from this scum. And now I will rid the world of them permanently. I wonder what he did to get and cast when you bring out Conroy like that. Back, what then? Oh, then we will issue in a golden age. First, he'll name me his second in command. Then I'll be his <laughs> second in command. God, he's got high goals there. What if you're there. just his third? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> what if they appoint somebody Emil? else? Is a flute nose. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Emil is a flute nose. I have to hurry. Laura can't keep him busy forever. Yeah, we gotta save her. Things are getting I have intense. To tell the people everything, but they won't believe me. We have to reveal his think, flute Robert. nose. Think, think, think. Oh, I can't do it. I knew I couldn't. Oh, you can do it, Robert. No, Robert. Pull yourself together. You're the king. You can do this. Are you talking to yourself? Who's the king? I'm the king. <laughs> He's talking to himself. You're the king? What? No. Technically, no. I'm not the king. Not yet. Doesn't matter. Emil is a flute nose. I have to let everyone know. Only no one will believe me. He is a madman. <laughs> He's going to be holding a speech over there soon. But how do I even get there? I have no idea. Do I have control now? Yeah, I have control again. That was a long cutscene, wasn't it? But that was interesting at the same time. And now I can catch up with you guys. <laughs> I missed a lot. <laughs> a lot of stuff. A brick ran away. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Is this it? Like, I almost thought that it was, but we're not quite there yet. We've got another chapter to do yet. I don't know how long this chapter's gonna be, but, um, yeah. Got a bit more there to do. Who was minding the baby in there this whole time? I was thinking it was those tribal people, but the door was locked. Unless, like, they were going to and fro from that room, maybe. I don't know. Otherwise, I am not sure. <laughs> I just, I just assumed it was them. A brick ran away. I thought that was funny. Maybe the baby is secretly Laura's child. I wish. That would be so cool. <laughs> the baby has the power to create tornadoes with a single fart. <laughs> ah, savage. But yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Babies make the worst smelling stuff ever. <laughs> Farts and poop and all kinds of stuff. They are just gross. <laughs> Teleporting Granny. Yep, she did seem to teleport or something. He's gonna vomit on Robert. That would be so funny if that happened. He would definitely not think he was cute then. <laughs> it's the final chapter. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> That's catchy. <laughs> we need a time machine to make that wind monk grow up. Yeah, if we could do that, that would be awesome, actually. I never thought of that. Then Robert wouldn't have to, to be um king anymore, but he should. 
I secretly want Peck to be the last wind, wind monk. He knows much and sees all. <laughs> Wise Mr. Pecky. <laughs> that would be funny too. He's secretly Hitler. <laughs> I mean, he kind of does look like him a little bit. <laughs> Multi personalities. Yes, very true. He does seem to have that. <laughs> the way he says, Emil is a flute nose. I thought he was like shouting it on purpose so like um, everybody could hear and like everyone would be like, what, what? And then he'll like spread a rumor or something, but I don't know. My own two year old niece farted on me. Savage. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> I hope it didn't smell that bad. <laughs> Put your nose cover on. That could be a good idea. Like, it would be best to go incognito at this point, right? Um, I don't seem to be able to, though, unfortunately. So I guess um, we are kind of out in the open here. Maybe we're just going to be like, hey, I am the king. Because Robert's not very good at strategizing. So I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> so this is Uncle. Oh, this is Laura's. Isn't this Laura's... Um dad or something actually i think this might be a different person this might be a different guy this was the guy who couldn't count and um i couldn't do that stupid knocking puzzle <laughs> someone is locked up in there they sure are all right let's talk to hello. him hello you in the cell oh hello young man hello again are you a flute nose well i suppose it doesn't oh, I matter guess anymore robert didn't speak to him yes a flute nose and proud of it good great so am i can I ask you a few questions? Can I ask you some too? How is it that you're out there and I'm stuck in here? Good question. <laughs> Do you want to swap places? I'll swap places with you if you like. <laughs> I am the king. Give me a beer. <laughs> but beer is bitter. Yuck. <laughs> I don't like beer. <laughs> The non-counting, counting flute noses. Yeah, he's terrible at counting. <laughs> okay, so we have an execution here. How come you're not up there with the others on the execution stand? That's a good point. That's quite a personal question. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> we uh, offended him. <laughs> they just captured so many of us flute noses, they've decided to execute us in smaller groups. Oh. That doesn't make it any less awful. So he's next. Yes. I hope against all hope that someone will step up and stop him. We will do it. I will stop him. Yeah. That's very nice of you. But then why didn't you do something about it four years ago? I was turned to stone. I was a statue. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I see. Causes a bit of a problem when you're kind of petrified. <laughs> okay, let's talk about Emil here. I've got incredible news. Emil is a flute nose. We've got to execute him too. Yes. I heard you talking about it earlier. We have to let the people know. I realize that too. But how? I can't get close to him. Hmm. Right before the execution starts, he'll be standing behind the fountain. But I can't even get past the fence. <laughs> Why don't you just take the two tunnels under the fountain? What? There's a tunnel? What? Tunnels? The tunnel that you were just talking about, under the wind fountain. There's tunnels under the wind fountain? You should use them to get close to Emil. What? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> he was like, there's, there's tunnels. And then he was like, there's tunnels? And he's like, what? What tunnels? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> some berry cider? Oh yeah, I could go for some berry cider. <laughs> The bitterness is what makes it great. I don't like bitter things. I can't stand bitter. Bitter or sour, I'm not really a fan of those. Give the king a desperado red. You think that he would like that? Do you mean Robert when you say the king? Tunnel under the, fount the fountain. Okay, let's How see. How do I get to the tunnel? You mean, where's the entrance? Exactly. No idea. But how do you know about this tunnel? I was there. I explored the tunnels thoroughly. And how did you enter it? Through the entrance, of course. And where is the entrance? If only I knew. That was hundreds of years ago. Well, at least 40 years ago. It was the most exciting adventure of my life. Well, maybe we should put our heads together and think. Maybe then you'll remember where the entrance of the tunnel is. 
Well, there was one thing that compelled me to explore exposure, as a young instrument knows. I had heard a rumour of secret treasure and embarked on a quest to find it, equipped with nothing more than... Uh, oh, my nose. What was it again? Hmm, so was it a sword, water, or a suit of armour? How am I meant to know? I have no idea. <laughs> I am so confused who knows about the tunnels. <laughs> I don't know. If you don't know, then I don't know. <laughs> Pre pretending to be the king while referring to Robert. Oh, I see. You secretly just want the alcohol, don't you? <laughs> no one knows about the tunnels. There are tunnels. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know what's going on here. All right, let's say... um. I have no idea. Um, sword. I have no clue. Probably a sword. Indeed. A sword. You never know when you'll need to slay something. Yeah, there might be goblins so, down I there. I wandered with my sword to... Uh, oh dear. Where is it that I wanted to go again? The tunnels? The wind fountain? Uh, I don't know. Wait, what? Magnet mountains? Asposian desert? What? Is this some kind of like weird dream he had or something <laughs> what's going on i think that magnet mountains sounds like way more exciting like it would make a good like fantasy story or something i'm gonna say magnet mountains maybe um in to the magnet mountains i've always wanted to see them ah that could be yes so there i was equipped with my sword on my way through the magnet mountains and then suddenly it was gone. The Magnet Mountains really live up to their name. Oh! <laughs> well, of course, at this precise moment, a monster appeared. <laughs> I didn't not think a about that one. one. I didn't or think that through. What kind of monster was it again? <laughs> oh my god, I just realised after I did it. <laughs> the Magnet took the sword. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's funny. This is like a whole game memory thing. Everything you remember. I don't know. I don't remember seeing a magnet mountains. I don't think so. I think it's just some weird imaginary made up story or something. <laughs> I have no idea. I've got plenty of alcohol in the other room. Very prepared. Oh, good. <laughs> if you don't know and they don't know and I don't know, then who the hell knows? I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting even more confused. The tunnels know. The tunnels. <laughs> I think he is writing a book. Hmm, maybe. I don't know. Is there a wrong answer to this, do you think? I have no idea. Um, okay, so is this the creature we're slaying or what? I think we should slay a mini Momo or something. Oh, please say it was a friendly mini Momo. Oh, yeah. What is yes, one of those? Yes, exactly. A sweet little mini Momo. I squashed him under my foot. Ah. Oh. But he didn't have any treasure on him. Wait, that doesn't sound quite right. <laughs> I think we've gone down a wrong fork. Yeah, probably. So where is the treasure in the entrance to the tunnel? Probably at the very end of the story. Oh. Okay, we just have to find the right path through your memories. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea how to go about doing that. I'm, I've got no clue, but I want to explore a little bit. I see a sticky lollipop. It's pretty sticky. And if I look at it for too long, it makes me dizzy. Oh my god. No, it doesn't. <laughs> kind of tacky, but useful. All right, let's take it. There we go. Awesome. What have we got here? A water fountain? It looks like a water dispenser. But what can I collect the water in? Hmm, good question. Let's see. I've only got a lollipop. Oh, a nose cover. Would that work? Ah, if I hold this under the opening, water comes out. Makes sense. Would it really hold it, though? Because, like, wouldn't it just, like, go through it? It probably would, to be honest. I don't think it actually, um... He don't think he actually put water in it, though. I can wash off later. <laughs> You're going to have a little bath over there or something. I don't know. Okay, we've got an adventurer's tent. Oh, maybe this will tell us how to do the story. Maybe. I'm sure the owner wouldn't mind if I poked around a bit. Ah, let's do this. All right, what have we got? Oh, I don't know. We have a bag with sneezing powder and a stapler. Okay, that's a little bit weird. <laughs> well, at least it works. <laughs> it's out of staples. Hmm... Okay, so we need to find some staples. Put some lollipop staples in there. That doesn't have to be stapled. Oh, I was hoping you would make staples out of the lollipop somehow. <laughs> but I guess not. Now you're just get. We could make a sneezing lollipop. That doesn't... But apparently not. 
Why should I? Maybe I could staple the nose cover. That doesn't. Have or something. So then I could fill it with water. It still wouldn't work though. Hmm. That seems like. Fun. Don't really know if I can combine well, anything. I don't think so. Not right now, anyway. Can I look in here? What a nice tent. It reeks of adventure. I like a good adventure. Let's see if I can find anything useful. Nothing left except for a bunch of notes and some specks of tumble mouse wool. Done. Darn it. Well, we already found some items. Let's look in the trash suit. Can, tr trash shoot? I mean, <laughs> can I go up here? Are wicked. Oh. Well, you're definitely proof of that. Um, can I go over there? That's far too dangerous. Hmm, you think so? So we're just gonna stand here? Alright, let's put some, like, uh, I don't know, let's make him sneeze or something. I don't want to- No, you don't want to make him sneeze. We could staple his hands to the table. <laughs> well, I could do- <laughs> But no, <laughs> I mean, it could work. There's a jar of a balloon over there. Fire beetles. I reckon we gotta do something with the fire beetles, perhaps. Or something, maybe the bazillion head or something? I don't know. That's far- Hmm. Looks like Laura really made an entrance. I'm not quite sure though. Oh, not him again. Is, is Conroy again over there? What's over here? I can't go over there. He'll see me. Right, yeah. The fire beetles are glowing, even though I didn't insult them. Well, they've been insulting each other, so that's probably what's going on that's there. That's far. But maybe I could just like, can't you just throw something over there or something? Phew, that was close. I have to be careful. No, um, I need to figure out a way to do this, but I'm not quite sure right now. Let's just leave for now. I think we have to do this story. Can you control Peck? No, he's gone, unfortunately. I think he's with Laura or something, or maybe she's just stashed him in her pocket. I don't know. Staple the sneezing powder onto Emil's nose. I kind of wanted to do something like that, but I don't seem to be able to get near him, so there must be something else going on here. Hello, Crystal Games. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? A mini Momo, the mortal enemy of the goth, sworn nemesis of the winged whinny weasel. <laughs> You've got some imagination, Cyber. <laughs> That's cool. All right, let's see if we can do this. Is the reason Nora is so bitchy because she's on her period for eternity? Oh, savage. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> But I, I do not know. <laughs> I think she's just sarcastic in nature. That seems to lead under the fountain. Oh, that leads under the fountain. Can't you just squeeze down into the drain pipe or something? <laughs> that would be awesome. All right, let's try this story I, again. Oh, I don't always, know. But then again, as far I don't know how you're supposed to work it out, though. Maybe we should look at a hint. Oh, I can't do it once I'm in the conversation. I just kind of see, want I... to see how you're actually meant to go about doing this because I have no idea. Okay, we have to show everyone that Emil is a flute nose. Okay, Uncle Obo knows the secret entrance. Okay, so try out different combinations. In the story, you choose one item, one location, and one monster. You have to bring the object fully intact to the monster at the end of the story and defeat it and get the treasure that the monster is guarding sounds like an awesome adventure i guess we just have to guess Hi again. Oh, i think because i don't actually think there's a way to i need to I will do, do this well, then right so oh i took the sword last time um so i guess that means we can't go to the magnet mountains because anything i take is just going to be like attracted by the magnets in the um Probably mountains so, so oh, i must dear. have to go through the desert it's the only option right but maybe there's, there's a specific right. kind oh, of what kind? like monster that appears in the desert maybe there's like a specific kind i don't know winged winnie whistle or um this fur demon i feel like that um fur demon thingy majig would probably like murder us he looks kind of vicious maybe we should go for the winner weasel this time maybe it was a winged winnie weasel yes it was but i was too weak to fight it after my journey through the desert oh so i made my escape wait that does i think Okay, so maybe born? it was okay. the Momo thing, but I in the both. desert, because he's too weak, so, and the um the Momo's weak, so I maybe maybe it's that. I mean, well, Perhaps. I Let's try that. Let's go. Probably a or maybe sword. I should take water with me indeed. through the desert. So, that might work. Indeed. But then I don't have a weapon. 
I have There's no the, idea. Right, it's only, I or maybe believe, I yeah, could use the weapon on like the fire breathing dragon thing. I have no idea. There's so many different oh, please things. Please say it was a. Yes, ex despite my exhaustion, I was able to cut him down with my sword. But he didn't have any treasure on him. Oh, he doesn't have the treasure. Wait, I think. Oh. So where is. Okay. The okay. I think that we should take the water with us this I, time oh, through the desert because the, maybe then he won't I be need, exhausted. I, was, well, I, I don't the, know. Oh I'm just going to try it. Let's try the water. Well, I would have taken a bucket of water with me. Ah, uh, yes. You can never have enough water. So, I headed off towards... Uh, uh, oh, dear. Water through the desert, then water on the fire demon. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Yes. Right. Let's try okay. this. Well, of course, then a monster appeared. Okay, what kind, of what kind of monster? Let's go with the fire demon. I feel like this looks really ferocious, though. Well, I know there's a fiery fur demon, but then you wouldn't be talking with me today. It can spit fire, right? Yes, it was a rather one-sided battle. All I had was my empty bucket to wield against a 12 metre tall Ferdamon sitting on a mountain of gold and spitting fire at me. Oh gosh. But luckily, the beast began to laugh so hard at my poor attempt at battle that I was able to get away. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't sound quite right. I think we've gone down a wrong... Okay, it wasn't so where that either. Probably... Okay. All right, I'll try the armor and the magnet mountain just to see what he says. I... Oh, <laughs> so I'm kind of curious now too. <laughs> Let's I do it. I will Would do he well, just get like oh my. absorbed into the mountain or something? A suit of armor? Ah, yes. A suit of armor is always practical. Oh dear. All right, magnet mountain. Let's try it and see what happens. Maybe. Uh... Ah, yes. To the magnet mountains. But wearing metal armor, I became stuck at the peak. <laughs> Those were three long days. Poor dude. Wait. That, I no, think not that one, probably. of course. Uh, hmm. Hi. Oh, it do you think it is the armor? Should we try the armor I mean, in the I desert? Well, I feel I like had, oh. he would get like really sweaty and stuff, but a suit of armor. Ah, yes, oh dear. But it's definitely the dragon because he's got the gold. Yeah, yes, so it's I definitely was that. Like a birthday cake. <laughs> Wait, I can imagine. That sound. I think we. <laughs> I didn't think so it was probably. that one. Okay. Hmm. Hi. Oh. Should I try the sword? Uh, I don't. I but I he, he doesn't well, have. There was one. He will be exhausted oh if I take the sword, though. So, I'm kind of, I'm not really sure. Hmm. And any of these items at the magnet place, would he would get, like, it would get stuck, right? Should I try the water oh. in the magnet mountains just to see what would happen? It's the only one I ever tried. Maybe. Let's try it. Ah, yes. Me too. So, I was carrying my bucket of water through the magnet mountains. And do you know what happened then? Well, of course, a monster appeared. And not a friendly one either. What kind of monster was it again? This might work. I don't know. Maybe this would work. Let's try it. Well, I know there's the fiery Ferdimon, but then you wouldn't be talking with me. Ha! Exactly. It was a battle of epic proportions. We fought atop his mountain of gold. I poured the water straight down his mouth and put out his fiery breath. Victory was mine. Yeah. Well, I found the treasure, but what does one do with treasure? One buries it. No, you take it. And I buried it under the <laughs> wind fountain here. Somewhere. Where no one would ever guess to find it. Under the twisted wooden tower. Oh, you mean that big root back there? Yes, indeed. Ah. Oh, Why is there it we that go. The easiest things to find are also the hardest. Yeah, we did it. Awesome. I liked that little story. I didn't actually think that was going to work. Bucket and Magnet Mountain would be the last one. What well, would be the last one you tried? Is that what you mean? It doesn't like um it was kind of random. Like I didn't think that that was going to actually work. <laughs> This is it. Yeah, we found it, Cyber. We are victorious. All right, let's go for the How secret beautiful. entrance. I should really educate myself about the history of the dynasty. Yeah, maybe another time. <laughs> We're kind of busy right now trying to stop an execution. All right, let's pick up the pinwheel, see what we find here. All right, there we go. I wonder if I can like um, put some items together or something. A music stand note, a fountain shaft and a symbol. Okay, might be able to raise something or something. I recognize that symbol. I bet you do. What's this fountain shaft? They just can't be allowed to throw anyone in here 
I have to stop them. We will stop them. Do you think the fountain has an end? Do you think it just like, you're just full for like all eternity or would you actually like end up dying or something? <laughs> I don't know. I've seen this somewhere before. Hmm, you have? I think we have to make some kind of like music stand, but I'm not entirely sure how. I don't know, let's try and use our flute nose or something. Oh, um, okay. It didn't stay up for very long. How do I keep it up there? Let's try again. What are all those phosphoses for? Could I try down? Let's try down. I don't know. Oh, there's one up there too. What on earth is going on? Can I rotate? <laughs> I don't know if this will work. Just gonna try it anyway. Okay, maybe I should try the wind to see if that does anything either. This has got to be some kind of puzzle, but I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Hmm, it goes so quick as well. So fast. Hmm, all right, let's try... The oh, what? What, what, what? I didn't hear what you said. Damn it, I keep clicking too fast. <laughs> I gotta remember to bring, bring a bucket of water with me when I go to war. <laughs> it saves you every time. <laughs> The wind that I can summon just isn't enough for all of Asposia. I have to free my orchestra. Oh, I need more people here to do the song, I guess. I mean, it was the only one you had yet to try. Oh, I see. Can you swap Emil's nose with a sneeze powder drenched one? Um, that would be nice, but I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> A bottomless pit, a totally true but rare occurrence of nature. Hmm, yeah. You die from starvation? Could be possible? I don't know. That was a lot of phosphorses. Yes, I think that we need some more people down here to do this. I'm just not entirely sure how. Why should I do that? I have no idea. I got like all these items. No, I... And I don't know what to do with them. Now you're just... What if I threw the sneezing powder down the fountain? Why should I... I don't know. I don't know why I click these things. <laughs> now you're just... There's a drain pipe here. You can talk to it. Hello? Obo doesn't seem to be able to hear me. Hmm, okay. What am I supposed to do in this section, I wonder? No, now... Can't do anything there. Lollipop... I don't want... Hmm interesting oh there's a, a ladder here i totally didn't notice that i could keep going <laughs> i didn't realize can i go up there isn't that going to be bad to go up there isn't that like where the execution uh -oh. is oh i better not let anyone see that i have a flute nose quick club cover it up quick put it on all right he's on it he's he's on the ball he knows what he's doing there he Dear is brothers and sisters today you will become witnesses to the beginning of a new era. An era like those in simpler times, believe me, brother and sister Asposians. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I'd better hurry. Yes. I've got to show everyone that he's got a flute nose too. Then this craziness will finally come to an end. I hope you're right. All right, how are we going to do that? That is the, um, the question. All right, so we got... Some lady here, some guards, um, a mount, a camera, a loudspeaker, a lot of things going on here. Let's try and talk to this woman over here. She's got her eye on the whole wind fountain square. Yeah. Okay, let's talk to her. Hello. Oh, those are some cool looking monitors. How about I just sabotage them? <laughs> Wait a kid. There's only two ways this can go down. Um, a good way and a bad way. Exactly. And in both cases, you end up with my boot in one of your orifices. No! I think I'd better go. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. She a angry lady. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with, um, with this lady. How am I going to get past this? I don't know. Drag Laura, Laura and um, leave her in the pit. Do you really not like her that much? <laughs> I think she's funny. <laughs> I like how that Robert and Laura are just like so different. I don't know why I keep calling her Lara for. <laughs> I've no idea. Good idea. She will have wish to hold Robert's hand again. <laughs> yeah, I wish that she was a little bit more lovey-dovey with Robert though. Lord Emil loves to hear himself speak. He does. Yep, he loves it. <laughs> the craziness will never end. Emil's brother throws Emil in the hole. 
Oh, that would be a crazy plot twist, wouldn't it? <laughs> when it's all over, Robert will get his one pound kiss. <laughs> Maybe one day, maybe one day. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, what am I gonna do about this? The guards are like a little bit dopey, so maybe we can like trick them somehow. So you're overseeing the execution? Yep. We make sure that they all get executed. Hey, I wanted to say that. But you didn't. Um, alright. <laughs> they seem to like be arguing to each other. Can I take their spears? What do you want me to do? I want you to take it, of course. Steal their spears. The guards are always pointing their spears in different directions. Okay. <laughs> Does this have some important meaning or something? Change the top of the spear to a pinwheel. <laughs> well, I could do that. Yes, you could. But no. But why? <laughs> then it would make everything... This would be a happier place. <laughs> Maybe I can make the guards sneeze. Take that away. Why? I want to make you sneeze. <laughs> no. Now's not the time for practical jokes. I see staples on this thing down here. Can I take them? Ah, okay. Maybe I can put these in the stapler. I can't get the staples out like that. Oh, okay. Hmm. How am I going to get them out? Bash it with your lollipop. Well, I... I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I can't get the staples um use the pinwheel now you're ju yeah i am guessing i don't know can't you get it out of the stapler how am i supposed to get the staples i have no idea <laughs> we got a barrier here what's this nope, i can't get through there okay can you look at the desk i'd rather not do that okay i don't blame you like she's kind of scary <laughs> okay it's got to be something to do with these spears hmm let's see here i don't know Maybe I could use some items with I it. I don't want... Okay, not that. Well... Can't staple it. Can I use this? Why should... Can't do that. Can I use the pinwheel? Why should... Anything? That one... No, none of my items seem to work. Can I talk to them again? Hey, come on now. It's not so important. You're both doing a great job. Thanks. Yeah, I think you're doing a great job too. Thanks. Best friends for forever. <laughs> oh my god, they're so weird. Maybe. Like, it said something about the direction it was pointing. Perhaps. Oh, I can't use my flute nose here. Oh, of course, that would give away my identity. I was, like, thinking I could, like, I don't know, blow it the other way or something. But that doesn't seem to be the case either. The wickedness of the flute noses. Don't even look at them. But believe me, my brothers and sisters, there's nothing that they wouldn't do to strike fear and panic into the hearts of good, law-abiding Asposians. Ooh, what are you making, okay. Cyber? Okay, I'd better do something quick. Yes, we need to do something real quick. Blow the sneeze powder with the pinwheel? Ooh, could be an idea. I don't want to... Nah, I can't, I can't combine them. I think I already tried combining all the items already, and I couldn't seem to do any. That won't work. The direction of the spears means something, but I don't know what. That's interesting. It's very interesting. Flute noses. I have to stop this. We have to stop the poor flute noses from going down the wind fountain. What can I do? I don't know, Robert. I don't know. Alternative fact. Whoever yells the loudest is right. <laughs> not true. <laughs> it's not like I can fly. We need Peck. Pecky, where are you? Why have you abandoned me in my time of need? A depetrifying ray? Why is that up there? I have to stop this. What? There's... What can I... There's nothing to depetrify, so I don't know why that's up there. Asposians. Why do they all blindly believe Emil? I do not know. Can I talk to them? They wouldn't listen to me anyway. No, you're probably right there. We got a Conroy statue over I there. I can't let them bring him back. Oh, they're going to depetrify him. Oh, I totally didn't notice the statue back there. That's what they're doing. No, we got to stop them. If only my arms were three times as long. I bet you he's going to come back. I just know he's going to come back some at some point. Somehow, I know he's going to. All right, we're going to look at a hint because I have honestly no idea. What did that say? Try to make a meal sneeze at the podium. Oh, I have to make a meal sneeze. Okay, I don't know how though. Okay, um, show everyone. Okay, I can't. I've done that. Okay, you can enter Emil's headquarters through the trash chute and then take the banner from the wall on the right banner from the wall on the right that's over here but 
I don't see a banner that I can take. Am I missing something here? <laughs> can you guys see a banner? Because I don't see anything that I can take right now anyway. Wait, did it say Town Square? Did it say Town Square or something? Let me see. Um, you can enter Emil's headquarters. Oh, it's oh we're in the lo wrong location. That's why it's up the trash shoot area. I think. Come on, Robert, let's go. What are you doing? What what are you doing? Oh, he took his um thing off his nose. I was wondering what he was doing. <laughs> Hello, I love stuff. Anime family, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Some chicken and oh, nice. You love your chili, don't you? <laughs> That's cool. Notice Conroy in the background? Yeah, I just saw that. Cool. Um, I just hope that he doesn't um, get free. Oh, now they're out of the room. We can, like, explore and stuff. Okay, so let's take this banner. There seems to be a lot of things we can do here. I'm not carrying that around with me. What? You don't want to take a whole bookshelf and carry it around with you? Why not? <laughs> Looks like someone glued everything in place. But why? Interesting. Maybe they're part of the Gore family. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what would I need that for? Um, you could take the bust of Conroy, so then you could kill him over and over again as many times as you like. <laughs> and it would make you feel better. <laughs> Let's take this jar thing. Okay, oh, there's like a, a meal balloon. That's really freaky. <laughs> Can I take these? I'd rather not do that. Okay, that can't take the fire beetles. The fire beetle? Yep, they're glowing. Can I take the portrait? That can... Okay, can't take that. Oh, not him again. Not him again. Can I go in the window? Emil talks and talks. That's at least one thing he has in common with Conroy. Besides the evilness. You're right, yep. He does talk a lot. I'd rather take the rubbish chute. <laughs> okay, I will shove you through the rubbish chute instead. Oh, the bazillion head. Looks like Laura really made an entrance. Yeah, I guess I can't salvage anything from this. I'm not carrying that around with me. No, okay. Well, I've got quite a few items here. So, we have a glass jar, so maybe we should fill that up with water, because there was like a little water thing back here. So we could probably do that, although I'm not quite sure what we're going to use I the water for. I can definitely carry water in that. Yeah, that's cool. So now we have water. Maybe we could fill the balloon with water. Well, I could... No, maybe I could fill the balloon with the sneezing powder. Why should I put the sneezing powder in there? But then again, why not? Are you doing it? Oh, he's doing it. <laughs> I thought he was not going to. Okay, so now we have a balloon with sneezing powder. All right. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe there's there's got to be something else I can put in that too. And I'll just... Oh, now I can put it back as well. Interesting. Wait, yeah. Um, hmm. What was the point of putting it back in the bag? I actually got an achievement for that. <laughs> I got a Steam achievement for doing Why that. Should I put this pandemic? <laughs> How random. I guess that was all it was for. I don't know. Hello, Frosta. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? We are doing the finale. <laughs> So, um, I don't know, because you wanted to play this game yourself, didn't you? I don't want to, like, spoil it for you or anything, but I'm literally, like, doing the ending right now. <laughs> Just so you know. Laura is in Emil's naughty dungeon. Do you think so? She kind of disappeared, didn't she? Like, I don't know what actually happened to her. I'm not sure. Laura made Emil angry and everything fell off the bookshelf. Yeah, but everything, um, everything was glued onto the bookshelf. So did he just like get really angry and then just like glue everything down because everything kept falling or something? <laughs> Do you think that's what he did? I don't know. <laughs> He's a really angry person. Don't worry, I will leave when the climax happens, but I wanted to watch for a while. Okay then, I just, um, I was just warning you. I didn't want to like ruin your experience or anything. <laughs> that's all. Okay, I got a lot of items. I'm just not sure what to do with them. What do you want me to do? I don't know. <laughs> Good no. question. No. Okay, I have no clue. I'm thinking I could put that in there. Why should I? But that's not working either. I don't know what I'm going to do with this no. water. I have no idea. No. Well, maybe I could do something with this paper bag. Well, I have no idea. I've got so many I items. Want... Surely something well, will combine together. But I have no clue. Why should I? The lollipop maybe would go somewhere. Well... Hmm, I have no idea. I gotta make Emil sneeze somehow, and then I guess he's gonna sneeze, and the cover on his nose is gonna come off, and everyone's gonna be like, 
Oh my god, I know what you are. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Alright, let's see how we can do this. He's too far away for you to just throw the powder at him. You need some sort of slingshot. Okay, the guards holding the spears near the wind fountain could help you with that. Okay, we can make some kind of weird slingshot with the guard's spear. Okay, I was wondering what that was about. I knew there was something to do with the spears, but I wasn't 100% sure what was going on there. So let's see if we can figure out how to do this. All right, Robert, come over here. Let's do this. All right, we need it when it's like facing him, I think. So I need to wait for them to like move it. So, and then maybe I can attach this to it somehow. I don't know. Try now. Well, I No, that doesn't work. That mm -hmm. won't. How am I going to do Why this? Should I how am I going to make a slingshot? I don't know. This I could hang the banner between the spears. Oh, okay. Hmm. They're standing too far apart for me to tie it on. Hmm, so I have to move them closer? Hmm, how am I going to do that though? <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe I could put the pinwheel on something. Ah, there we go. The hey, little windmill thing. what are thing. you doing? Nothing. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm innocent. <laughs> I'm not doing a thing over here. Ah, so I need to get rid of the guard somehow. Put water on the surveillance desk. No. Now's not hmm. the time. I was thinking he could like break it or something, but no, that doesn't work either. Hmm, no idea. Throw it at the woman. <laughs> I don't Take know. Take that away. No, damn it. Damn you. How am I going to do this Well, without her spotting me? That's a good question. I do not know. Is there anything around that could help me? I've got a camera here. Maybe I could break the camera or something. It's not like I... Although she could still see me with her eyeballs. Why should... So I don't know if that's going to help too much. That I have no idea. Like... Hmm. Okay. I don't. All these items. I'm not sure what to do with them all. Well. Okay. I think I probably. Yeah, let's look at some hints because I'm not sure. You could tie the banner. Yep, I know how to do that. The guards always move their spears. Yep. You can only secure the banner to the spears. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Yep. I just need to wait till the spears are both pointing towards each other. Oh, so it's all about position. So it's not like. I thought I had to, like do something with this guard but maybe that's afterwards okay so I guess it's just depending on like where the spears are facing so let's see maybe like this I could hang the banner between the spears I don't know hmm. the how about right now they're really close now ah quick no I could hang the hmm. <laughs> they move too fast <laughs> I was too too slow <laughs> I could hang hmm. okay let's just keep trying all right, how about now? I could, I'll just mm. keep trying every time they move it. Come on, you little dudes. Let's do this. How about now? I could hang the banner. Mm. There's that. It's still too far apart. Hmm. I could hang. Mm. Can I talk to them or something? Hello. Guard, f Guard 576 reporting for duty. Wait, which of you is Guard 576? They're both Guard 576. Me. <laughs> Me. You are not. And two. <laughs> They're constantly arguing to each other. <laughs> so the spears stop and you can tie to it. You can talk to them for it to stop moving. Um, I'm not really sure. I don't, I've tried like, I'm pretty sure I've tried like almost every combination and it doesn't seem to work. But I don't know. Let's try it. I'll try again. I could hang the ban hmm. Yeah, they're still too far apart. So I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I love the humor in this game. Yeah, it is funny. There, there's some pretty humorous moments in this game for sure. Have Peck enter the Olympics and have him win gold for pigeon long jumping. <laughs> if only we could give her candy. You think I should give the guard some candy? I don't think it'll work, but I'll try. Take that away. She seems miserable enough. Like we should just like give her something to cheer her up, but she's she seems very miserable. <laughs> Okay, when they are still and they have the least amount of distance. Oh, I think I have to talk to them to get them them moving again. I think you were you right, actually, could Princess be guard Blue Sky. Five, yeah. Well, yeah. You still have to decide which of you is A and which is B. But no, I I mean, does A come before B, or is it the other way around? <laughs> oh, um, they're at the same time. Ah. <laughs> what? Ah. Are these guys for real? So are they going to move their spears again now? Come on, move your spears. And then I'll talk to them when they're in the right position. I think. Hopefully that will work. <laughs> 
I'm not sure if it's this one, but it seems like they're too too far away. So maybe like you should right clear here. up once and for all which of you is which. Oh, they moved it again. You're right. Rock, paper, scissors. Let's go. Stop moving your to spears. The death. <laughs> okay. So what are our three options again? Scissors, rock, and paper. I choose rock. No, I wanted rock. But I want rock. <laughs> I think they might be too far I still. Can hang the mm. Yeah, the stupid dudes moved whilst I was talking yeah. to them. Let's God stop this masquerade. Our friendship is the color of magic. <laughs> okay then. Blow the balloon, use the spear to pop it so Emil sneezes. I'm trying to uh, like slingshot this balloon over there. Oh, I haven't actually blown it up. You're right, though. There we go. Now it's blown up. Now it should work, hopefully. I'm going to wait until um, the spears are close again and try and get this to work. Maybe I should try it, like, just before they move. Like, how about now? Because they moved when I was talking to them. Stop arguing, dudes. <laughs> oh, damn it. Still not quite there yet. All right. Let's let them move just one more time. And then hopefully I can do it this time. Hmm. I think just need to move one more time. All right, go, go, go. All right, there we go. So yep. Hopefully hey, this will work you... and it will stay. Stay still. Let me see if this will work Can now. Can I attach this here? Like, yeah, sure. I don't know if it's allowed. <laughs> the pretzel is on that banner. The pretzel is allowed. <laughs> Banners aren't forbidden either. As far as I know. That's Maybe good. we should ask Emil. No, 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 you don't the need to do that. The last guard who asked Emil a question was forced to read him his bedtime story for two whole weeks. You poor thing. Right then. So, I'll just put this here. <laughs> it looks pretty good. I know. <laughs> I think so, too. I like red. It looks great. I like pretzels. I'm hungry. <laughs> Can you make the robot rampage? What robot do you mean? Okay, there we go. I think we got it. I like these guys. They're simple. <laughs> yes, they are a little bit. Um, most of the guards are actually like this in the game. <laughs> They're messing with you now. <laughs> they sure are. I think we're really close now. We just need to reveal the truth. The colour of magic. I wonder... Was that a Terry Pratchett reference? I have no idea. <laughs> Show the colours of friendship. I would read Emil only Stephen King horror stories for bedtime. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I'm ready. All right, let's put this on the banner. No, now's not the... I mean, um, well, I guess I have to put it on him. If I can hit Emil with the sneezing powder, everyone will find out that he's really a flute nose. Yeah, let's do it. Go, 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 go. Um, hmm, am I missing something or something? I don't know. Could I put this here? How about hey, that? Hey, what are you doing? No, she still uh, doesn't uh, let me do that. All right. I've done the banner, so I thought I just had to slingshot this thing over. If I can hit Emil with this. But maybe there's something I'm missing. I don't know. There's got to be something I've, like, missed or something. Let's see. Um, do you have something that with you? The stapler looks like a good bet. Oh, I have to tie them with, like, the stapler. I see. I completely idea, didn't realise. But it's out of staples. Oh, but I still need to get the staples out of the board. And I haven't quite figured out how to do that yet. Hmm. I'm no. not really sure if there's, like, maybe an item that I'm supposed to use it with. But I am not sure. I have no idea. I'm just going to look because I don't know. <laughs> And we're so close. Appears to be empty. You have to find some staples. Yep, I've got some. There are staples on the staple board. Yep, there are no tools around to use, but you could destroy the board to get the staples. I can destroy it. Destroy it how? I don't have anything to destroy it with, though, unfortunately. Hmm. Unless I've missed something. I don't know. Maybe if I go back, we'll find something. I don't remember seeing anything that could, like, possibly do that, though. Come on, Robert, let's go. Um, nothing in here for sure but let's go back maybe there was something i like have missed or something i don't see anything here either all right let's go up into the trash chute maybe there's something maybe the fire beetles could destroy it or something i have no idea they could like burn it or something yeah that worked awesome wow <laughs> only the staples survived 
Yay! <laughs> Yay for destruction! <laughs> that worked. That's cool. Okay, how am I going to get the staples now? It's burning hot in there. Hmm, I don't know. I'd rather not do that. Yeah, I didn't think he would. Um, maybe... I don't know. Stick a lollipop in there. What should I do? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't want... What could I use? It's a good question. Oh, I could put it out of water. So, time to cool off. I don't know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> there we go. Doesn't that kill the, the fire beetles? should still be usable. I was scared it was going to, like, hurt the fire beetles somehow. Like, they seem to be okay, so I'm, I'm sure they're fine. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have the staples, we can staple the banner onto the um, the spears. That should help a lot. Okay, how do I get down again? Oh yeah, down here. We've got to go underneath the wind fountain, back into the square. Let's do this. I'm excited. <laughs> Water, yes. Yes, very true. I was scared they were like gonna die or something. <laughs> okay, let's staple this down. I don't want to do that. Alright, why not? Why do you not want to do that? That's what you need to do. Now you're just get Say what? Is there something else I'm missing? Do I oh, wait, stapler. Good idea, but it's out of stuff. Oh, god damn it. Let's uh, <laughs> combine those. <laughs> there we go. Got there in the end. A loaded stapler. I'm ready and loaded. I'm going to staple the banner up. Mind your Good fingers. Good idea. Then it won't fall down anymore. I can't believe these guards Hail are letting us do Emil. this. Not very effective weapons if they're stapled to a banner. <laughs> But okay then. All right, now we can do it, right? If I can hit Emil with the sneezing... Okay, yeah, why aren't you doing it then? <laughs> On the banner? I could use the banner as a slingshot. Yes. But it's hanging too loosely. I just stapled them. What more do you want? <laughs> Dang, I did both sides as well, right? That won't... Uh, it's hanging pretty loosely. It is, but I've stapled it, man. Is there anything else? Stick it more with the lollipop. No. Um, hmm, I have no idea. Is there more I can do? I don't want... No, I have no clue. Well, oh, I'm missing something. No. Hmm, this is annoying. <laughs> I'm so close, but so far. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, before that, it has to be taut. To make the banner taut, the spears have to be pointing away from each other. What? What? The banner that you staple to the spears would work. Didn't I do this already? Yeah, we did this bit already, didn't we? So I have to get the spears moving? Really? That sounds a bit weird. All right, let's talk to the guards and hey, see what they do. Hey, come on now. It's not so important. You're both doing a great job. Thanks. Are they, aren't they going to, like, yeah, tear it? I think you're doing a great job, too. Thanks. Best. We've actually heard this one. Hmm. Maybe it... Ha, huh, okay. Maybe I have to staple it again? That seems like fun. Oh, I see. Why should I? I see. They have to stretch it for me. <laughs> I see. And then hopefully I can like throw this at them, at Emil in a second, once they stretch it out a little bit. Come on, dudes. You got this. Do my work for me, little dudes. <laughs> I love how we're just like using the guards like I this. I could use the banner as a slingshot. Yeah, do it. But it's hanging too still hanging too loosely is there still something i've missed here i'm not sure i'm thinking i've got to use the lollipop or something because it's sticky that's what i'm thinking but i don't really know gotta be in the right position then i think it's gotta be this position here no no is there something i'm missing now you're just hmm what is going on i'm missing something so stupid <laughs> so talk to them i did but hmm i'm not quite sure what to do now Make them stop when in the right positions. Oh, right, yes. True. So you're <laughs> overseeing the execution. I forgot about that. Yep. We make sure that they all get a Hey. Nearly you... they nearly moved. Alright, so now can I do it? I don't want Let me do it already. If I can hit Emil with the sneezing Yes. <laughs> okay, something's still missing. Well something's still missing. No. But I don't know what. What if the balloon doesn't pop? I should put the powder in something else that will break easier. I only have one chance. Something that will break easier? Uh, in the bag? And I'll just put this back. But then he takes the powder out, doesn't he? I don't have something that would break easier. I have no idea. Why should I put but then again? I have no clue. <laughs> hmm. 
Miss Malty should look at our hints instead. <laughs> I have been. <laughs> You and your lollipop miss. It's got to have some use. Like, otherwise, why is it there? <laughs> Silly thing. Hmm. We need something that will break easier, though, but I'm not sure what. Maybe I could put it on the pinwheel. No. But then that's meant to be mounted on there, but I'm not entirely sure what that's even for. I have no idea. Okay, let's have a little look. Um, but you can't fire the slingshot... Right, as long as she's monitoring that woman, we have to find a way to distract her. She's constantly staring at the monitors. The security counter is mounted to the fence, and I know that's where the pinwheel, pinwheel thing's gotta go. Maybe you could put something in front of the camera. Do you have something that could work? The lollipop in your inventory can make you dizzy. Oh, I meant to put that there. Well, I could do. Huh, wait, do I combine them? Oh, I have to combine them. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. What is this monstrosity? <laughs> Let's put it up there. Oh my god, I'm hypnotizing her. That would never work. Like, come on. <laughs> what kind of trick is that? <laughs> now no one will notice me. Sure, if you say so. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, um, so can I do it now? Wait, I gotta blow it up. Let's blow it up again. Although he said I need something that would break easier. If I can hit And I'm not really sure what. What if the balloon I should put I mm, only I have no clue. Let's see. Okay. Use the balloon with the sneezing powder in your inventory with the paper bag. The sneezing powder in the balloon won't work well. Put it in the bag first. What, do I just throw the bag at his face no, or something? <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it would be the balloon. Um, what's happened? Um, hello, Robert. Oh no, I think I've crashed it. <laughs> no, time for some hy hypnosis. Yes, um... It's completely crashed. <laughs> it's died. I've I've killed the game. <laughs> of course. Only I could do that. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Something that could break easy. Robert's brain. Oh. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Harsh at cyber. <laughs> Did it crash? Yeah, I think so. Because I can, like, normally when I put my cursor down here, the items come up normally when I put it up here there's a little hint thing and nothing's happening and he's just standing there like a little silly person and I'm clicking like crazy and nothing's happening so I think I've crashed it so I've got to reload the silly thing <laughs> bear with me at one moment whilst I um I fix this situation <laughs> I've got to reload it, so I think you guys will just see a black screen for a second. I apologise for that. <laughs> Silly thing has crashed on me. How dare it? <laughs> Alright, the game broke easily. Well, to be honest, on the, um, the first game actually had a few crashes. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of lucky that I've got this far without it crashing, to be honest. Sleepy time now? Are you, are you going to bed now? Okay. Thank you for stopping by. Click on Emil or the banner. I think we're nearly there. All right, let's do this. Let's load it back up. There we go. It loads really fast, so it's it's not too bad. The balloon bag combo confused Robert too much. <laughs> Maybe. He <laughs> was like, what's going on? And I'll just put this back. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's see if this will work. We got a bag with sneezing powder. All right, so will this work? Can I throw this at him? I could use the banner as a slingshot. Yep, that's the plan. If I can hit Emil with the sneezing powder, everyone will find out that he's really a flute nose. Will it work? Hey guards, could you please hold your spears a little straighter? Huh? You heard the civilian. Do as he says. They take orders from civilians, it's funny. <laughs> All right, here we go. The moment of truth. Ah, oh, dude, you missed. Oh, Assassin. <laughs> Assassin! Oh, epic fail. <laughs> Find the traitor. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh my god. <laughs> I better get out of here. How did they not see him? It was like right there. <laughs> okay, oh god. calm down, Robert. Time for plan B. <laughs> we knocked no, his head off. <laughs> only losers have a plan B. I just need a better plan A. 
Okay. <laughs> All right then. Um, we have a head here, so maybe I can take his head. <laughs> we have Conroy's head. He got what he deserved. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I don't know. Like stroke his head or something. This Conroy head weighs me down almost as much as the life-altering trauma that he's left me with. God, savage. Okay, we have a loudspeaker here. Can I do something with this? Okay, I just kind of took that part. Maybe I can like somehow make this head speak. <laughs> Even if you had something to say, I, I don't wouldn't know. want to hear it. I guess not. Do you think we could like depetrify his head? He'll just come back as just like a decapitated head. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Stroker's head, you what, miss? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Conroy ain't coming back now. Thank God, because I was like, I was kind of thinking that he was going to, and I'm kind of glad he's not. I'm likely to be up past two again. That's about usual for me. Oh, it is? I mean, I can't really say much because I stay up late too. <laughs> and I always have my premieres on at like 2 a.m. as well, so I'm usually up at that time too. <laughs> I'm usually up quite late. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Hmm something with this loudspeaker maybe other thing has changed like if we go back maybe there's been some changes in the previous areas or something i'm not really sure maybe i can talk to uncle again hi again hi oh, again i've just decapitated some dude oh music notes i found ancient music notes under the wind fountain oh that brings back memories i haven't made music for years don't that will only cause trouble. I'm sitting in jail, about to be executed, my boy. I'm going to play a song. Yeah, let the man do what he wants. He can do whatever he wants. Hmm. Okay. So now he's playing a song. That seems to lead under the fa- I wonder if that's affecting anything down here. Maybe I've got to quickly, like, run down and then, like, um put those little notes up or something i don't know let's try again oh. let's be quick this time okay what have we got down song what a beautiful song yes isn't it it's the only one that i can still remember hmm okay quick run down <laughs> maybe something will happen <laughs> maybe the sound's not coming through that must be the drain from uncle oboe's cell yeah is the sound coming through hello Hmm, maybe a loudspeaker up there. Well, I could do that. Could I put it back? That seems like... No, what's this for? I could blow on Emil with this, but what good will that do? You could what now? <laughs> hmm, this hose leads directly to Emil's podium. Oh, okay. Is there something I could do with this? No. Hmm, let's see. I could blow on Emil. I would have to blow... Blow up the balloon first, and then I don't know what purpose this is going to serve. I could blow on, but I don't. I don't know. Okay, that didn't do much. One head full of rocks and one head full of air. How does the exposure always end up with these kinds of leaders? I have no idea. This is why you need to take command, Robert. <laughs> I don't know. You want to blow him. <laughs> I know, it sounded so wrong, didn't it? I don't quite n understand what he was trying to say. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. You have his head, throw it in the toilet. <laughs> I can't throw it down there. Do you mean down in the fountain shaft? I tried, I think. No, I still need that. Yeah, he needs it for something, but I don't know. <laughs> Could you talk through his head to sound like Conroy? Yeah, but I'm not sure how. Maybe I could combine Even these. Even if you had some... See, I can't combine those either, so I'm not quite sure how. But I think you might be on the right lines or something. But I'm not sure. <laughs> Use the lollipop. I don't have it anymore. I used it to hypnotise the, um, that crazy guard lady. <laughs> Got any sneezing powder left? I don't think so. We just have a balloon, loudspeaker, Conroy's head, stapler and a nose cover. Right now, anyway. I think it's something to do with, um... The guy in jail singing a song because the sounds coming down here i think um but i'm not entirely sure he was playing a down note what maybe, do you want me to unless it was just a hint to tell uh, us well to do this maybe we have to do this let's try see if this does anything now since a couple of things have changed since then oh okay um things have changed 
they weren't both moving at the same time last time we tried this, so that definitely is different. Um, hmm. But they don't stay still. What do you want me to? They won't stay there. Can I staple them together? Well... <laughs> I don't know. All right, I guess it's time to look at some hints because I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. Maybe you can create another powder. Oh. Do you have anything that you could turn into stone powder? We gotta make stone powder out of this, apparently. So, is there somewhere where I could like grind it? Like somewhere, um, not entirely sure how. Can't staple it. Even if <laughs> can't do that. One head full of. Okay, I can't like combine stuff. Hmm. So I need to find somewhere where it will like somehow make it into a powder. Maybe I could put it no, in the. No, I don't need to go there. Oh, I can't go into the trash chute area anymore. So I was thinking maybe I could do something with the fire beetles, but it doesn't seem to be that either. That won't. No idea. Hmm. That's. I'm just trying anything at this point. <laughs> ah, if I hold this under the opening, water comes out. Right. Yeah. Maybe it's in the town square then, because I don't seem to uh, be able to see much here. So let's go to the I town square. I shouldn't let anyone see me up there. Maybe not. So this is the only area that I can be in right now. It's just this area, it seems. And I have to make this into powder? How on earth can I make this into powder? One head... F I have no idea. <laughs> on the platform, put the head on things and crush them. Crush the head on the platform. What platform? What do you mean? Hmm... On the stand? On here? Oh, I didn't know I could put it here. Um... And then I could do something. Why should I do? I don't know what. Well, entirely I can do here. Oh, not. Hmm. No. So we're getting somewhere. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh yes, and then play the flute, of course. Oh, silly me. <laughs> and then do this. Oh wow, I totally didn't think to do that. All right, let's try this. Oh, it's not working now. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Maybe let's try moving it up. I can only move one at a time. Maybe I've got to make the uncle um, play his song or something. Maybe that will work. Let's try try that. Maybe I need the power of two different notes or something. I have no idea because um, I don't seem to be able to do it with my own power. So maybe he will what? help us. Yes. All right, there he goes. Hopefully that will do something. No, that doesn't work either. I'm sure I've got to make his sound come down here. That's something. I have no idea. Why should I? Hmm. <laughs> Dang, we're so close. Play your song, miss. I did, but it didn't work. Maybe I'll try this one, though. I'll try this one. Maybe this one will work. The power of wind. No. Hmm. I think you got it. This game makes you more smarter. <laughs> I the like it. <laughs> I can summon just isn't enough for all of exposure. I have to free my orchestra. Conroy will have a hell of an exit. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I just don't know how to do this entirely. I'm missing something. It's going to be something really small, isn't it? Something that I've just overlooked. But I'm not sure what. That I'm just going to try this one what more time. Okay. I did this a second ago and it didn't work. But let's try. Why did it work now? I tried that a second ago. I'm sure I did. <laughs> I have no idea why it didn't work when I tried it a minute ago. Unless I played the wrong song. I have no idea. That's really weird. But I got the powder. Oh, oh, the stone dust tickles my nose. Or maybe I'm allergic to Conroy. That's definitely it. You're allergic to Conroy. <laughs> All right, we can take this now. All right, so we've got some dust. So maybe... Yeah, the dust is probably safe in there. Right, we can put it in the balloon. Awesome. Hopefully this will um, make him sneeze instead. All right, now maybe I can attach it to here. That's just crazy enough to work. Oh, yeah, we're getting somewhere, guys. Oh, oh, it's traveling up. Oh, interesting. Okay, is it gonna finally work this time? We are we gonna era. get him to sneeze. Conroy's era. An era of order. Oh, I just got an achievement for chapter six. So I think this is the security. ending. I think we're about to see the end. In which no one feels alone. Or abandoned. Here we go. To honor <laughs> Conroy. We shall put an end. To all the flute noses today, may he rise again. But he's got no head. <laughs> so what is he gonna do? He's a flute nose. Don, don, don. My nose. 
<laughs> I knew it! I knew it the whole time! There's the crazy guy. It works! This doesn't change anything! Nothing! I'm not like them! I'm an explosion! A con royalist! You must listen to me! No, 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 no! I'm on your side! We we have the same enemy! Guards! Throw the flute noses into the fountains! That includes you, dude! <laughs> oh no, you don't! No one is dying today! Flute oh, noses, God. play what the wind gave you on my signal! Oh, are they all gonna do their song at the end? Yeah, go on, do it! And there's um that girl with her um little daughter, so that's cool. No, her sister, that was it. Ah, oh, but Emil got saved. Damn it! Phosphos says, why did you save him? <laughs> but I so mean you're Emil. He's not as bad as Conroy. And Conroy. you're the one who murdered Conroy? He's just misguided. Oh, um murdered is such a harsh word. Well we kind of have yes. now. Like technically. But if you're a flute nose <laughs> yourself, why do you hate us all? Well, I may have been born with holes in my nose, but I chose to live like a normal explosion and stick to the rules. I found a family, one that actually wanted me and didn't abandon me. Oh, my goodness. I, I think I know who you are. You weren't abandoned. My mother used to tell me the story of the fountain child. Years ago, a small boy fell into a fountain and was never seen again. The whole dynasty was looking for you for years always descending deeper into the fountain to search. We all thought you were dead. Oh, man. I always thought that was a fairy tale my mother told me, so I wouldn't jump rope on the edge of the fountains. I... I wasn't abandoned? That explains the strange dream I've always had. A dream that I'm a small boy falling into the blackness of a wind fountain. Oh. Makes sense. So His what should we do with opened. him now? We should. We're not killing him. He's part of the family. Look him up That's for a bit. That's not true. I'm not one of you. What would you like us to do, Your Grace? I'm not a cursed flute nose. I'm normal. Um, make him shut up. Make him shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Giving orders like a pro. <laughs> Best first order ever. My fellow Asposians. It's time you learnt the truth. There is no such thing as flying wind gods. The Basilians were machines that Conroy built himself to strike fear into our hearts. And with those machines, he turned the flute noses to stone. The flute noses never summoned those beasts. They only ever summoned the wind. They give us life. They are the rightful rulers of Asposia. The crazy dude is right. It's the truth. Therefore, I've decided I should take over ruling the government. You what? <laughs> my name is Confucius, and here is my decree. I believe that we're all one big family. He's going a bit too over the top here. <laughs> Get him down. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound too bad. Flute nose, are you trying to get out of your responsibilities again? Yeah, Robert. Let's just see what he has to say first. <laughs> a family that is descended from a three-cornered marble that sprang from the infinite soil. Okay. I don't believe in reality. I believe that we're all made up characters living in an impossible <laughs> world. He's spot on. <laughs> I believe there are at least four of me running around here somewhere. One of us is evil. And I can't be sure it isn't me. Damn it, I haven't I've seen four of them. I've already succeeded twice in crossbreeding a wolf with a cactus so that he can store water longer. <laughs> what? My first objective as your new ruler will be to invent a ladder that will replace the wheel. Okay, stop. Yeah, I've had enough now. And who are you? He's totally crazy. Um, <laughs> I'm... Go on, Robert. I'm... You're the king. Go on, say well, it. Well, technically, I'm... Um... Go on. You I'll got this. It. He is the true king of Asposia. There you go. 
Now you don't have to say it yourself. Yeah. Oh, come on now, boy. Get your butt up to that podium and tell the people what you have to say. This is going to be the best speech ever. My dear Aspersians, uh, I know the last few years weren't easy. They weren't easy for my family either. I... It has to stop. We can't hate each other anymore. We can't live in hiding anymore. It's time that we all formally met. My name is Ocarino Bo III, and my father was the King of the Flute Noses and the Wind Fountain Guardians before Conroy murdered him. But you know what? I think you all should just choose for yourselves who will lead you. Ah. I know I'd want to say in who's in charge. What the heck is he doing? Uh -huh. The right thing. That and was until you found someone that you'd like to be your leader, I can fill in. What do you say? That was actually a normal speech. I was expecting him I to say something really my silly. Neighbor, Hector. He always lends me his watering can. He'd <laughs> probably be a great leader. <laughs> oh my god. I nominate myself. <laughs> Why? Because I really, really like to be the king of Asposia. His voice. Sounds good to me. He's got my vote. Oh my god. Oh god, these idiots don't deserve you. <laughs> but I'm glad that you made it. There's gonna be a I'm weird king. You. Thanks, but your plan was better. If I hadn't been such a coward, I would have listened to you. You couldn't have known how crazy Emil is. Not as crazy as me. Not as crazy as you. Come on, kiss. Do it. Ah, oh, at least they held hands. I'm proud of both of you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thanks. What do you think you're doing, interfering? You can, mm, let go now. Libretta? Just a second longer? So come on, Flute Nose. Show us what a king you can be. <clears throat> Did someone just drop some money? <laughs> <laughs> they all looked. <laughs> Oh wow, they're all so gullible. <laughs> Damn, I think that was it. No, it's over. <laughs> what a fantastic little fun little point and click game that was. That was a lot of fun and I really liked the way that that all just tied together and ended. It was a happy ending. It was a nice one. I liked that. <laughs> what a way to end it. Yeah, they ended on a funny note. Is there money? And everyone just like looks down. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I wonder, like, who they're gonna pick as king at the end. I kind of just wish that they just, like, said that Robert was the king at the end, but he's just kind of temporarily filling in, but maybe he will stay as, like, the permanent king or something. Is there no post-game? I really doubt it. Like, this is just a really small point-and-click game, so I really doubt it. <laughs> Congrats on finishing this. It was so much fun solving things together. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the story. Had some really funny moments in that. I have to say the highlight was definitely with the gorfs. Like that was so funny. That was probably like the best dream. <laughs> that was really fun. It was awesome. They all bowed to him. I mean, yeah, I guess in a way when they went to pick up the money. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I want the watershed. What water? What? Zero hints used to. <laughs> I wish I could say that was true. <laughs> but no, I definitely used lots of hints. <laughs> but that was that was really interesting. And like that dude, um, the evil guy, he wasn't really that evil. Not really. He was just, you know, misinformed. He didn't know what was really going on. Kind of felt bad for him at the end. Like, I'm glad it wasn't like a really true evil person because we already had that with Conroy and I'm really glad that Conroy didn't come back because I didn't really want him to to be honest <laughs> definitely true no one saw the hints <laughs> it was a lie it's all a lie <laughs> oh man that was cool that was a cool game though the ladder wheel I loved the bit where he was talking crazy like that crazy dude and he was like oh I'm actually like an imaginary character <laughs> I loved that bit as well what if Emil is the last wind monk? That would have been interesting too. I'm kind of glad that he wasn't though. 
I'm sad Peck never got his Olympic gold medal ending. <laughs> Well, there might be like something at the end of these credits. I don't know. There might just be a little extra cutscene or something that would be cool, but I don't know. It's such a small game that there's no guarantee that there is anything at the end. I'm not sure. Imagine the end clip the Ray revive Conroy. Oh no, don't say that. <laughs> His head's fallen off though. It would only be a, like a like a body. Like there's no head. <laughs> So even if he did get, like, depetrified, like, I don't think he would get far. <laughs> Unless, like, they had a way of sticking him back together somehow. <laughs> but that would, that would suck. <laughs> Talk to us about this new game coming tomorrow. Well, I'm not entirely sure because I haven't done any stream tests with it yet. Because, like, I'm a little bit worried about it, like, lagging and stuff. But if my stream tests go well, I'm going to be playing a game called Dance of Death. Do lack Fey or something? It's, it's not out yet. It comes out tomorrow. It's another point and click game. But it is a little bit more serious this time. So there was no scene at the end, unfortunately. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's about... Jack the Ripper and it's gonna be like a, a murder kind of game so it's gonna be a lot more serious than this one. The game is about I believe between 10 to 15 hours long. It looks really cool like the art style looks like telltale style like the way it's like drawn and stuff it looks really cool. I just really hope that it's gonna run on my PC that's the only thing I'm a little worried about. If it doesn't I can always do like little short videos because they those are always fine but I just have problems with streaming and playing at the same time it really depends on the game sometimes it's fine other times it's not it depends on the game so we will see I'm gonna do some stream tests after I've stopped streaming now you won't see anything because like I'm gonna put them unlisted because they're just gonna be tests I'm not gonna like talk on them or anything <laughs> but it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting miss playing the evil guy I'm not sure because you play as a guy and a talking dog so I think it's more along the lines of like solving mysteries solving murders, that kind of thing. <laughs> but yeah, I think so. The name sounds morbid. It does a little bit. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for the game. It's great. It's a great journey. It was. It was fantastic. And I'm so happy that the developers sent me this one. It's just uh, a shame that I was so late to it. <laughs> but I got there in the end. <laughs> That's what counts. Evil dog. You think so? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? I guess we'll see um, if I if I can get it to work. <laughs> May the Gorfs have a happy life with glued bottoms and rough mating. <laughs> we will never forget the the Gorf the Gorfs <laughs> the Gorfs <laughs> the Gorfs are so funny. I need to get myself a Gorf. <laughs> so strange like they're such weird little creatures but thank you everybody for stopping by and joining me on this journey I had a fantastic time with this game I really enjoyed this one it was a lot of fun so many funny little things happened and that I did play the first game as well if you're interested um, there will be a link in the description. I'll put, probably put it in after I finish streaming because I don't think it's there right now. And it might be though, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember if I put it in. But I did play the first one, so check that out if you want to as well. It was also a really good one. But I'm not sure which one was better. I'm not sure. I both I liked both of them equally. I have to say that they're both really good, actually. <laughs> Usually sequels are the things that just plummet and um, aren't as good. But I don't know. I think this one was really good too. I hope the test goes well. Me too because I really want to play it but we will have to see anyway if not then I'll just have to play something else but we will see what happens anyway thank you everybody for stopping by and maybe I'll catch some of you tomorrow bye bye